Hey, Planeswalkers, Mithras here. Hope you're doing well and staying safe. Welcome, my friends. Today's episode of Top Deck, we are covering a Golgari Elves deck. This deck is by our friend Sin, who's in the Discord server. Hit Mythic early with it, so it is a, a Mythic deck uh, from last season. So very excited to be sharing this, as I love to share community deck lists um, and go over what they're all about. So looking forward to this. Appreciate uh, you tuning in. Feel free uh, to flip me a like if you enjoyed today's video. If you have questions, if you have comments, let me know down below. Or you can also hop on the Discord server. That information is in the description. You'll also find the timestamps there where we will talk about the strategy objective of this list. We'll cover your best of three sideboarding. We'll go play that competitive magic in both best of one and best of three here today. And then we'll do a nice little retrospective on how it went and where this deck sits in the meta, my friends. So really looking forward to playing our Golgari Elves Tribal deck here today. Um, um, so let's go to it uh, and see what we can do here. So with this said, here's what we got going on with Golgari Elves. Um, so one, obviously it's a tribal elves deck, so that's a key piece. But what I like what he did um, is took advantage of Realm Walker and the Shapeshifters here. Um, this guy adds so much value. Once this get down, you can keep pulling off the top of your library once you flip um, to elves. And then you can keep casting creatures off the top of your library. So you can continue to build value Jaspera Sentinel here, paired with Elvish Warmaster and everything else that we have, this deck ramps so nice. Um, and at three, we begin to do lots of things um, and continue to build the value from Elvish Warmaster. At the top end, Skemfar um, seems awkward, but the reality is this thing is an absolute powerhouse. So powerful. So hopefully we'll get to see this in action today. Um, one, you can recover life. Two, you can wipe your opponents. Um, absolutely, absolutely nasty. Canopy Tactician at the top end, the plus one, plus one on the board, boostering everything and bolstering everything. Um, but adding that three mana actually makes a big difference, particularly when you're playing off the top of your deck as you're adding cards, adding value, all sorts of things. And then Herald Unites the Elves does so much here, so, so much. Um, the negative one, negative one is an amazing clearer here as well. And then at the very, very top, we can return upon the tide. So another nice card to bring back an elf um, and add some more tokens um, and a foretell. So this deck is very aggressive. Um, it is aggro-y, but also mid-range because you can begin to go wide. You can hold up your board, continue to build, particularly against other creature-based decks, and then just slam a bunch of these guys and take it home. Absolutely, absolutely. It happens. It's worked for me. It's going to work for you as well. So um, that is the strategy objective of this list, my friends. Now we're going to go ahead and talk about the sideboard where we'll break it down for aggro, mid-range, and late game, my friends. Um, so we got a lot going on here um, in each piece we will talk about here depending on what we're playing but aggro decks are going to be things like mono red mono white um, we'll also hit the boros knight stack that we just did boros winata um, we also got other boros aggro decks nio winata we got uh, gruel aggro we got gruel magda um, some of those begin to bridge into mid-range here what you're going to want to think about is flipping in the flunks uh, you might want the crippling fears um, additionally thorn mantle isn't bad for clearing a lane um, Shadow Spear really helps you again also against some of those other aggro decks so in particular people forget that you can remove the indestructible or hexproof there as well. Um, other things that I do like is Wildborn Preserver. This helps give you a really big, big creature. Um, obviously, this is great against some other decks. We'll talk about that here in a second. Um, and then Shadow Spear uh, as well um, to go over the top on your big creatures. And then we got Tyvar if we need. Again, similar um, for some of that range. But um, reality is what I would probably flip in is potentially Crippling Fear if they're not super big creatures. Flunk's a great one. Um, other than that, maybe a Shadow Spear, but really this deck holds up well against the aggro and the mid-range stuff. We also have board board removal here if we need to as well. Um, things that I would look at taking out, potentially return upon the tide, um, maybe some other spaces here like Mass Vandal um, if we don't need to remove something from uh, Exile Target Artifact or Enchantment. Um, those could be some good targets for you. Then we got the mid-range stuff. We talked about the Gruul. We talked about the uh, Winata decks. We also have uh, Gigantha uh, Naya tokens in that space. Additionally, is it Tempo? Is it uh, Dragons? We also got all the Sacrifice decks. We got, we got Rock Dust. We got Jund. We also have uh, Mardu. We have um, the Witherbloom decks, the Pest decks, and Golgari as well. So lots of stuff here in the space. Um, 
all equals equally, um, depending on what they're trying to do, if they're more creature-based or if they're not creature-based. Um, if they are more creature-based, some of them go wide stuff. Crippling Fear works really well against. Um, Flunk's good against some of those bigger ones. Again, Thorn Mantle if you need to as well. Um, also, what I really like is Wildborn Preserver. A lot of people forget about this. Um, they might run their dragons right into it, and it actually has happened to me already, so... Um, I certainly would uh, would recommend that for you there um, in that one. Another one people forget about is Mirror Shield. This one's really good. Um, it's expensive, but the thing is here is in some of those holdup matches, you're not going to lose some of your creatures. Um, this is big. If they want to steal something, they're not going to be able to do that. Um, other opportunities there with this one as well. Then as we move out of the mid-range, we're going to get to those late game decks. Those late game decks are things like the Doom decks. We got Four Color, we got Esper, we got Azorus Control. We also have Doomer Control. We have Saltai Control. Um, we got the lovely Ultimatum decks, Teamer, Team Returns, um, also Saltai Ultimatum. Lots of other things, uh, goodies in the space as well um, that you can play, certainly. Um, here the big one is getting through fast. Um, we certainly got to move through. We want Tyvar, I think, at the top end here. I like Wildborn Preserver, too, just to move your curve down um, and keep hitting fast um, in that in that situation. The rest of the stuff you're really not going to need. You can also flip out your Blood Chief Thirst and your Baleful Masteries there because you're not going to need those as well. Um, so the biggest thing is trying to kill them as fast as possible before they hit their uh, board wipes. So... Um, that is the strategy objective of the stack against your aggro mid-range and late game matchups. Additionally, my friends, um, we cover the strategy of the main board, what you're trying to do with the tribal deck, with the elves. Um, keep playing, keep hitting the board, go fast, go hard, go wide, and make your opponents go home. So um, let's go ahead now. We're going to play that competitive magic here um, for today. So I'm really, really looking forward to this deck. Um I actually played it, um, did a whole video only to realize that I was, uh, my mic wasn't working. So um, it happens. Let's go ahead and we're going to try and do this all over again. We'll talk about it here at the end uh, a little bit, but really, really looking forward to this deck that's been put together and shared with us here, my friends. So let's see what we got going on uh, in our first matchup against Jack 3594. Um, so we can go first here. Um, we can play any one color, so we'll take it. We can dig, and we got Realm Walker, which is big. Biggest piece that I like um, is War Master. We don't have War Master, but that's okay. We don't have a turn two either. All right, now we got a turn two. into this so we can go realm walker here it's going to be a big one so this is really fast go elf so not enough yet this will allow us to bring back Elvish War Master if they take it off. So they're going to ramp really hard here. So we need to hit very, very fast. Um, hopefully we can get a land soon. Um, we got two drains here. So we have, we're going to want to play this. This one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Drain for eight. We'll put them at nine. We're not going to quite be at lethal. Um, it'll be very close though. So they essentially have to have a Shadow's Verdict uh, to wipe us here. Super, super, super unfortunate. Very, very unfortunate. Um, and we don't have enough there. Otherwise, that would have been lethal. We literally need one. One land. Ooh. 
Ooh. So we have two damage in hand. It has to kill Harold. And again, Mr. Landrop. Ultimatum deck. I will take that. Oh. We missed again, but there was no lands on there. We just need one land. Can't give him a double burn. We can let him wipe some of the stuff off the board. Oh, such a bummer. Such a bummer. So if they play the Kraken, we can live with that. We can live with the Kraken. So what I don't want is that. So we, we're trying to lock them out. They get to kill both our guys. Now, the problem is here. They can use it. Oh my gosh. They can use it um, to gain life back. Oh, still hosed on land. Look at that. Look at that. The shuffler is against us. It now. Surely you can handle a little pain. Oof. If they have a second emergent, we're in a bad spot. And we don't have a land. Which is going to destroy us. in the life for one there's our land that we needed and the problem is the plus one with Tybalt and we'll lose our guy. So we're in, we're gonna be in rough shape here.
He could strap the Elvish Warmaster if they wanted. I still can't believe that we didn't close this yet. Just super incredibly unlucky. There has to be an answer here. I pay. Oh, the top deck's not good for us. Let's see what we can do. Very, very tight here. Please, plus one with the vault. Get rid of that card. Uh, We're not going to be able to come back now. Um, they're at 8. On top of that. On top of this whole thing. Not hitting any lands. They'll have... They have the slow drain roll here. We're not going to be able to build up to maximum capacity. Literally 4 turns where we hit. Now, the reality is... I'm going to be full transparency here. I was prepared for this so um the the uh, uh no blocks the video like i said before this where i was on mute was absolutely glorious so i will still probably post it so you can take a look um we went out absolutely incredibly and everything hit just right so, I'm expecting this one to be a little bit choppy. All right, Platinum 1, we went only up. So, this one, we held steady. Unfortunately, again, we certainly should have won that, which is too bad. Um, it happens. That's magic. So, let's go ahead. We got two more to go through with our Golgari Elves deck, um, and we'll keep on trucking. So, KBTITO213. Um, we're first. This is a little late on the stuff. Mulligan. We'll go a little bit faster. Um, not much faster. We'll keep six. I'm going to drop uh, Bill for Mastery, actually. Oh, probably a trick read that kind of. Went out pretty fast. Looks like a trickery deck. Smells like a trickery deck. Trickery deck. Gotta love it. And they hit a new again. Of course they hit a new again. Because we crushed it. It's pretty funny, actually. Good news is... We got this. So as long as they don't have a trickery in hand... We're gonna be okay. If they have a trickery and they hit my blood chief thirst for a problem. Alright. Woo! We're back in it. We are back in it for the time being. 
We did it! We came back! They gave up! <laughs> oh, All is right. All is right in the game of magic, the land of magic. Oh my gosh. There you go, Sim. Good job throwing in Blood Chief Search there. Alright, third and final match. So we didn't get to see Skemfar move the way I wanted to in the first one against our Salt of Tomatum. We did recover against the Ugin deck and the Tibble Trickery deck. I'm still gonna show you guys. I'm I'll I'll post the other one too. Um alright. Two I will keep this. So this is gonna be a Gigantha token deck. So this these two comboed here are really good. Um that's why I'm gonna keep it. I'm putting them on because the stacker. I mean, it does have. Can run. A lovely enchantment for drops. I want to get something on the board now. This is worth getting rid of. Start getting damage in. We might want to play Gemfar here. This Gemfar, not that Gemfar. Shadow, Shadow Sage. Shadow Sage. They're going to get a ton of draw to get moving here. Yeah. Very nice. Very nice. Oh. So this is where you play the crippling fear and this whole thing's gone. The whole board goes away. It goes kaput. Um let us go grab this. That guy. So we're grabbing him so that we can hit the one one fly. Right there. So that's where we'd keep Mass Vandal for, is this one. Play that up the top. Um, let's do this. You know. All right. 
So we have our canopy tacticians still. We have drains here. We need to. Not enough yet, though. As to what we would like them to be. That's going to hurt. You still have a chance, though. So. Again, this is where you go crippling fear. Whole thing. the four be enough to kill us potentially here Very, very unfortunate here. All right, we are gonna move on to our next match. So we're not hitting curve the way we needed to um, in our best of ones here, unfortunately today. Um, so it happens. All right, on to our best of three. Let's go ahead and check it out. Um, Mythic Golgari Elves, again, this by Sin. Great deck, super fun. Running into some issues here, um, hitting bad lands, hitting some tough draws, but we know how that goes. Again, I ran a flawless run with this thing, and my mic was muted. Oh, so mad, but it happens. It's trying to trying to sell my house. So, um, all right, here's what we got going on. We're gonna keep this. We got a late game deck, so this one will be a little bit tougher. We'll see how it goes. Could have played Snarl there first, too. We might hang on to this. We'll see. We'll think about it. The only thing is if I play it, then I can get this in faster. Ooh. We might want to hang on to it.
Couldn't have hung on to it, huh? This is gonna be a tough matchup for us. And we're getting really bad draws. Oops, I don't know what to tell you there. They're gonna kill me again. I don't know, we'll see. Oh, here we go. Let's see if we can hit something. Oh. All right. Not much better. All right. We'll save these. Alright. We got the better end on that one. We're not feeling the pain too much. So you gotta see a little bit how that works there. Um, looks like we got a little bit of playing around here. Um, shield mirror wouldn't be bad. We didn't see everything, so we don't know if these guys are good. I'm gonna take a bet that they're not. Um, and then we're gonna go like this. I'm going to actually make my curve a little bit faster here. Um, and then I don't mind a mirror shield here since we got a lot of direct damage. But maybe we do this. We'll see what they play. Uh, let's go like this. They still can play the uh, those deals here. 60. Let's try that. Again, we could go mirror shield. We know that they're hitting, but at two, it's not gonna make sense if they're all low, low stuff. We haven't seen any of the high value stuff yet in terms of removal, so ooh, ooh. Oh my gosh. Hopefully we'll see we'll see our opponent stack a little bit more here. I guess. Find out. See there's that. Like we talked about. Wow. Alright. Go for the damage. If they hit red, they're gonna get our war master here. Oh, there he goes. This we can get. That's good. We need to get something in our graveyard, though. Nothing. There's red. Here comes the red. All right. That was a mistake, but it worked. <laughs> oh, they didn't even drop their shark there, huh? All right. Ooh, we can do a couple things here. Oh, 
hard Connor. Yeah. Oh. Common. It's too bad. A lot of top end protection there. We gotta move fast. Not fast enough in this one. I would pull Yorian over now. There you go. That. Let's get rid of. Do you want canopy? Let's get rid of him. There we go. back in for the time being. We'll see. Oh, are they going to hit it? Most people don't know what these cards do. Probably. <laughs> Need something playable. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we could drain. All right, 12. They waited. Not quite there yet. Oh, we got it. We got it. Woo. Woo, woo, woo. All right. Good way to end the day, my friends. So let's go ahead and talk about this deck. Best of one is done. Best of three is done. All right. Here's what we got going on. This is Sin's deck in the Discord server. You guys can absolutely, and gals, come check us out. Hang out in there. Uh, available to you down below in the details. Um, checking out his Mythic deck um, from early last season. Absolutely awesome. Um, our best of one run, we went one and two. Um, I went three and oh uh, in the other run, and I'll make sure you have the link for that so you can check it out. Um, and then... Uh, best of three, we went two and zero. Oh. Um, very, very solid. Very could have been a little bit different matches. So we're happy that they went the way they were. Um, we uh, and then also in the other one we went uh, two and zero oh as well. So we we clean house in that one. Um, so overall net, um, we went four and two and two and zero. Oh, so very, very solid. Um, so only to confirm my thought process from before in terms of play style of this deck. Um, where it sits in the tier list as well in terms of retrospective. We had some issues. Um, we should have, should have, should have, should have beat the Salt Eye. 
uh, emergent deck. We just got absolutely hosed on the mana. It happens. Um, so can't can't beat yourself up. I'm more upset that I was on mute for an hour um, running a running a video that was was really good. So this one was so great. Uh, very excited about the list. Like I said, so hats off to uh, Sin on the deck list. Um, and so, so thankful that, that they share it with us. Um, so feel free to do that. Um, share, this, share the decks, the Discord server. I'd take a look at top 1500 mythic decks. Absolutely. Uh, if I haven't covered them. And then additionally, um, on top of that, uh, the platinum, the mythic six plus win stuff and, uh, tournament wins decks. And then lastly, I'm going to start getting into some jank stuff, I think. So feel free to share, share those decks. I'm looking forward to start, start having some fun there too. So um with that planeswalkers where does this deck sit in the meta best of one it is it is much stronger um it's it despite our two losses um it's a very very strong deck um i would say middle of tier two um and and uh with with pretty pretty good confidence and then best of three um here it's not as good we could certainly solidify the sideboard a little bit more with some stuff that i talked about with like things like duress um you could pop up four mantle strikers um these are great for removing uh you know counters from permits particularly planeswalkers um so for those late game decks but it does take a while to get there um i'm more of the uh let's go quick um and rip cards out of their hand approach uh with this one um sin's got a different approach than i do but those are some thoughts there in terms of of what you could flip out best of three um potentially tier two probably middle and down uh versus the other uh more solid in the middle and then potentially top of top of tier three for that but this deck is so much fun i love the elves tribal i love the thought that went into this um, had a blast my only my only anxiety was here is that knowing that i had spent an, spent an hour on this before um, which you will be able to check out so i'll make sure the link's there for you um so you can watch the video uh as well no volume apologies i you know i'm, I'm sorry about that um, like I said, in the process of trying to try to sell my house, we had an open house today, um, and I had to disconnect all my stuff um, so that people could come check our place out. So anyway, with that said, Planeswalkers, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Flip me a like. Elves, Gogari Elves, Mythic Elves, good stuff, Elves. Um, so fast, furious, knock your opponents down. Um, we had a great day, a lot of fun. Um, and there's a lot of cool things you can do with this deck. You can absolutely do a lot of fun stuff. So, um, really, really enjoy it again. Great job, Sin. Thank you for sharing with everyone in the community. Um, planeswalkers stay safe, stay tuned. We got more top decks coming your way more Friday night meta. Check it out. Just posted one the other day here. Um, lots of changes at the beginning of the season. And then additionally, other tier lists. Um, again, start having some fun with some other stuff. So, so stay tuned, Planeswalkers. Um, with that said, uh, always appreciate the support. Great ways to do that down below in the description um, and great ways to connect. So with that, stay safe. Take care. We'll see you again soon. Mithras out.